everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a time lapse of me drawing Angelina Jolie as Laura Croft on my iPad Pro using an Apple Pencil and the Procreate app. Back in September one of my co-workers saw my Wonder Woman picture that I had drawn and asked if I could do another drawing for her in the same style but she wanted Angelina Jolie's Laura Croft and I told her I'd give it a shot so I started this drawing completely different than how it finished honestly I started with the pistols pointed at the camera and Laura looking between them However, I realized once I got to drawing the head that I was not going to be able to fit in all the detail that I wanted in the face given the size of the features. I also realized that if I were to crop the picture that you would not realize she was holding her pistols. The second position I tried out was Laura Croft looking over her shoulder at the camera. But again, I ran into the same problem. The size of the head was going to limit the amount of detail I could fit into the picture. So, again, I realized that if I brought the head closer, it wouldn't look like Laura Croft. It would just look like Angelina Jolie. So I settled on this third position where you have Laura Croft showcasing her dual pistols and everything is nice and close so I could fit as much detail in it as I wanted to. Finally nailing down the pose, I began to draw this picture and ran into a situation that's quite common for me. I don't know if any of you guys experience this or if it's just me, but if I get inspired to draw something, I'm super motivated and the project just seems to flow and I almost always love the outcome. But the minute someone commissions me to do something different, something that they want me to do, it seems like all my artistic talent and abilities just leave and, and I have to redo the piece several times because everything I'm doing just looks awful. In the end, I usually am able to produce something that they like, but uh, very rarely is it so smooth as when it's something for myself. So that's what I was experiencing with this drawing. It was kicking my butt. I redid it so many times. I just I didn't like how it was looking. It, it looked like a two-year-old was drawing this picture at times and <laughs> that's really discouraging especially um, for artists. We're very emotional and a lot of times that emotion comes out through our, our art. So the more I had to redo it, the more stressed out I got and the worse it started to look, which meant I had to redo it again. And during the time I was experiencing this, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos of other artists and they were all talking about art block, how they were able to keep motivated and to push through it. Several of them mentioned that the last thing you really want to do is completely stop drawing because it's only building a bad habit. It's only setting you up for failure because you're basing your artwork on your emotions and you should really push through it. And if you can't work on that piece of art that you should at least do some kind of drawing every single day and you need to realize you're gonna have good days and bad but you need to make something every single day and that way you'll progress as an artist and you'll learn that yeah sometimes your your stuff's not gonna look great 
And other times it's going to look fantastic. But you just keep going. And I kind of realized that this was what I needed to do. That I needed to push myself through this, this weird circumstance that I keep finding myself in. Because if I ever want to pursue art as any kind of professional career, I'm going to have to learn to do things that I don't want to do. Not everything is going to be some amazing job. I'm going to get commissions that I'm not going to like. I'm going to get commissions that don't inspire me. But I'm going to still have to produce something professional. So I had already determined that I was going to force myself through this. But around that same time, I started hearing about Inktober. Now, Inktober has been around for 10 years. They celebrated their 10th anniversary this year, 2019. I was just now hearing about Inktober. Yes, I'm very behind. At least I found out about it though, right? Everyone was talking about Inktober and how it was a great challenge because you had to draw something every single day. And I was like, well, that checks one of the boxes for getting through art block. Draw something every day. Okay. Well, since my friend at work said that I could take my time on this picture, that she didn't need it right away, I decided to take a break from that picture, but not from art. I decided I would set Laura aside and I would try Inktober. Now boy, let me tell you, it's a challenge for a reason, okay? I, at the end of October, I was completely exhausted, but I was also super proud of myself for getting through the entire month. And also, I had a whole stack of pictures that I had drawn just in one month and that made me super proud and motivated me and so when I went back to my iPad and turned it on and picked up my Apple Pencil I was ready to tackle Laura Croft once again but this time I made every time I picked up that pencil I thought to myself I'm just going to draw for 30 to 45 minutes and then I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take a break. And if I don't feel the need to continue drawing, I'm not going to. Much of November, I actually only worked on this drawing 45 minutes each day, okay? Some days it was 30, some days I got a couple hours in, but for the most part, it was 45 minutes. However, as you know, if you live in the US, we celebrate Thanksgiving around the end of November. And this year, I was able to get additional time off from work. That meant I was going to be traveling down to Tennessee to see my family for an entire week. So there was a week that I did not touch this picture at all. However, before I left for Tennessee, I had gotten this picture, I would say probably 98% complete. Like, if I had given this drawing to my friend, she would have loved it as is. Even though it was 98% finished, there was still that 2% that was bugging me. So when I got back from Tennessee, I knew I could just, you know, soften a couple of harsh edges and, you know, highlight a couple of things and bring a little more detail to the eyes. And that would pretty much finish it off to a, to a stage that I was happy with it and I knew she would love it. So that's what I did. December 2nd, I woke up and I said, today I am going to dedicate 20 minutes to finishing off the guns and 10 minutes just polishing everything up and throwing in a simple background. And I have to say, I'm really glad that I put that limitation on myself because I might still be working on it <laughs> now if I hadn't. However, I am super happy with how this one turned out, even more so because I was able to produce this level of work on a commission. 
and most of my stuff for commissions are usually pretty cartoony. So to have a semi-realistic um, vibe to this piece really, really makes me smile. And I'm really proud of this piece. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. I, as an artist, I can see all the flaws, so I know they're there. I know they exist. Um, so don't be too critical, okay? But overall, I think you can definitely look at this picture and say, that's Angel Angelina Jolie and that's Laura Croft, you know? There's no doubt in my mind that that is what I drew when I look at this picture. So in that respect, I'm really happy with it. Also, I love that it's not hyper-realistic. It's not photorealistic. You can look at it and tell that this is a piece of art. Um, but at the same time, I captured a likeness. And I just love that style. I always wanted to get to that level when I was younger that um, it was stylized, but it was realistic enough that you knew who you were looking at. And um, I think I've actually gotten much closer than I had been able to in the past. So again, I'm really happy that I was able to finish this piece. I'm really proud of the way it turned out. And let me know, guys, hey, you know, do you experience this weird thing like I do where when you make something, it's awesome, but when somebody else wants you to make something, it, it just looks awful. Um, also, what do you do to get through your art block days? You know, what keeps you motivated? Also, did you participate in Ink Inktober this year? If you did, I want to see your work. I love seeing other artists and what they're doing. So, you know, Put your comments, your suggestions, your questions, and links to your works all down in the comment section below. I will get to it as I can, but I totally want to check out your stuff. And if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Also, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I would love to connect with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!